let's look at Sparrow. What are we seeing here? Yeah, sure. So you're, you're looking at a uh, robotic arm with a custom end effector on it. That's what we call DAISY. That end effector has an array of suction cups that can actually physically grasp any of the objects that are presented in one of those yellow totes. If you look really closely, you'll see some sensors that are are above that, and those sensors are looking down inside the tote to tell us what is physically inside the tote. And then we have a perception stack that is then saying, okay, if that's what's inside the tote, this is where I want the arm or the end effector to go to in order to pick up the particular object. They're predicting how heavy the object will be. They're predicting where you should actually grasp it, where's the center of gravity of that, and then how many of those end effectors should be deployed in order to pick it up. Every once in a while, I see lights flashing off in the background. What, what is that? Yep, so we, what we also have is it's, it's one thing just to be able to pick up an, an object. It's another to be able to identify it. These are barcode scanners that are flashing kind of a little bit outside of our normal uh, eye range. Those are cameras that are giving some structured light also as well to the scene. We want to try to control the lighting the best that we can so that in order to get a good picture of what's inside that, that tote. But when they're scanning and the sensors are looking down, this is object recognition. This that's is right. not barcode recognition. Yeah, that's and right. Yeah, there's a little bit of both. We call it multimodal identification. So if we can see a barcode, we'll of course, we'll take that. Uh, if we can read text, we will read text automatically. If we can get the dimensions of the objects, we'll get the dimensions automatically. And all those are clues to uh, let us know very precisely what it is that we have in grasp. That's important to us because we don't want to deliver the wrong good to the customer's door. So we go to great lengths to make sure we actually have the right good at the right time to be delivered to the customer's door. The other thing uh, that we do, and I think this is super cool and it doesn't get a a lot of airtime, is that also while we're picking that up, we're also looking for damages. So Automatically, the cameras that are sensing the package are not just saying, how do I pick this up? They're saying, is this thing damaged? That's right. Are the corners that pushed in? Is the plastic pushed in? Is it, is it, we have a reference model for each of these objects. And does the reference model match actually what it is that we have uh, under grasp? And if that's not, then we'll actually kick that out as well. 